Good morning again. Uh, so I'm Nicola from Gong. Um, Gong was established back in 1997 primarily as an organization which was focused on monitoring the election, uh, the election process uh, due to, I would say, uh, legitimate concerns regarding their uh, uh, legitimacy. Uh, and, but uh, after sort of the um, uh, electoral legislation uh, got the appropriate entrenchment Croatia gone moved to uh, other fields of public policy uh, across the uh, rule of law spectrum, and uh, uh, and now we focus. We, we basically organize our work around two teams. There's one team which is primarily uh, focused on uh, monitoring public policy and monitoring work of, uh, of uh, public institutions, so to watch that role. And but also the other team uh, which is uh, focused primarily on building uh, civic engagement and uh, democratic political culture, but we also advocate as well uh, within the policy framework related to those people. So these are, these are sort of uh, uh, hopefully mutual reinforcing elements of our, our work. Uh, I, I'm a, re, uh, I'm, I'm a uh, new addition to Gong, relatively I'm here from uh, February to, uh, uh, to 22. Uh, but I've worked over 10 years before in, in, in the civil society organization, so I knew Gong uh, as, uh, as an outsider, as a different, as a bit of a different organization than the one I came uh, in now. Uh, so, so the thing is, and I'm moving to the, more specifically to the, to, to the topic of our, uh, of, our, uh, of our meeting today, uh, Gong engaged uh, far more earlier uh, with the local level, and this was some of their very prominent projects, uh, prominent projects back in the day. Uh, uh, Gong also developed and uh, implemented for several years an index, index uh, of transparency of local organizations. Uh, meanwhile, this was pretty much uh, uh, taken over uh, by the uh, by an institute of public finance. Uh, from what I gather from the Gong people, not in a way that makes everyone happy. Uh, uh, but also, um, something there was a very impressive study back in 2016, which I would like to talk about uh, uh, more extensively in, in other sessions, which was basically uh, conducted in collaboration with some of the academics. Uh, and it was focused on four case studies of uh, local state capture which was basically a very good uh, interdisciplinary study of anthropology, meeting sociology, meeting uh, political science, outlining really the mechanisms how things work. And uh, 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 but uh, as of recently, our most uh, intensive engagement with the local level was, was, is with regard to introduction of civic education, uh, uh, which was uh, which is primarily a sort of a, a secondary advocacy route as. Uh, because during the push for educational reforms in Croatia in 2016, 2017, national government refused to uh, seriously engage in introducing civic education. But now, due to uh, also the changes in the local level and the emergence of uh, new independent opposition mayors, uh, there, there, there is we are seeing a lot of relatively a lot of success with the local governments. Uh, pushing the, li the limits of their institutional framework in trying to introduce a more ambitious uh, civic education. And uh, uh, just uh, two, th two thoughts at the end uh, about the Croatian context. I mean, uh, uh, also, uh, uh, I mean, as, as I said, uh, everything that was said, a lot of it what was said by the previous speakers relating to post-COVID and energy crisis applies to Croatia uh, prominently. What I would say that is, is, a, that is proven as a considerable challenge to uh, particularly local level <coughs> democracy in Croatia was the earthquake events. I mean, we had two earthquakes which impacted the first Zagreb in uh, March 2020 and the one in the nearby uh, region, which also again impacted Zagreb as well. And uh, what we are seeing here is uh, sort of the uh, very, uh, very flagrant uh, failure of the central state uh, to provide support uh, uh, in reconstruction 
and uh, is also using these mechanisms as a means of political pressure, uh, on, particularly on the local governments, the government in Zagreb, which is uh, the independent one. So,